I'm really proud that we as Americans define our interests, not just in our own prosperity and our own security, which are obviously number one, but that we also define our good in terms of the world for every person who's free, for every person who gets to earn a, a decent living and raise their family in a protected environment. That's a safer world for Americans too. When we do our job well, Nobody really knows, you know, and so we're preventing conflict. We're promoting trade and peace and prosperity. If done well, you know, it's like a pilot. If the plane doesn't crash, everything went well. And so I think we're sort of these invisible, I would say everyday heroes behind the scenes. We're the first line of defense for America. We're not armed, we're not the military, but we're the first line of defense to protect American interests and also to promote our values. That's incredibly important. It's not just the interests we promote, it's also what makes us Americans. Every day, there's something new. Every country, every assignment, there's something new and interesting and, and exciting. You know, that's what you, you take in, but you also are able to make a difference in people's lives. We are about American prosperity. American security, and we are the bridge between the United States of America and the rest of the world. I think the hardest part is often, you know, living through some really horrible, tragic situations in the world that you have to deal with, often being unable to really do much to ameliorate the situation or console people. That's, that's sometimes the hardest. What I think Americans should know about the Foreign Service is that it's more than just the State Department. The State Department is amazing and we work very closely with them, but there are several other agencies and we do a lot of great work. The Foreign Service is just going to continue to evolve and become more diverse and that's going to be better for everyone because once we become more diverse, we understand other cultures better and what other governments need in order to make connections. It's a win-win, it's not a zero-sum game. You're actually looking to have partners and friends to work with you as we have over the last hundred years. We need a foreign service to make sure as our policies and our interests are advanced that we can resolve problems through diplomacy and not through military conflict. The people and the experiences that you have in this job are unmatched. I have worked with some of the most incredible people truly in the world. And then our local staff that work at our embassies, they're called locally employed staff, they are our continuity. They are there to support us and help us do our jobs. And we just couldn't do it without the people that are in, in our embassies. When we work on democracy and governance and stabilization, places in, with conflict, really uh, uh, that investment of helping other people figure out their governance and, and be peaceful uh, benefits us in the long run because war is, is uh, hundreds of times more expensive than, than development, right? We're celebrating our 100 year anniversary and it made me realize, you know, some of the adversities that I face as a diplomat of color go back to our beginning, our origin as an institution. So I think building an institution where we are bringing in this diversity of thought, this diversity of lived experience, but creating the safety, you know, where people can beat their authentic selves, right? The next hundred years, I hope we have an institution where we're harnessing our greatest national security asset, the diversity of our people. But we're not only just bringing them to the table, we're actually leveraging this. And that really gives me the courage to think about my role in this institution and shaping the next hundred years. I'm very optimistic about where we're going. And I can tell you what has made us the essential nation, as Secretary Albright called us, is the fact that we don't look at challenges and look to run from them. We tackle the issues we see. And I, I see that in my colleagues every day who put in enormous amounts of time, energy, and effort to addressing impossible situations and making them better. So I'm optimistic, yes.